Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon, and I'm back again with another book review. I just recently read The Color of Air, which is written by Gail Sukiyama. And this book is really interesting. It's a historical fiction, historical fiction novel. And it is surrounding a family that lives in Hawaii. Of course, they're immigrants. And it takes place around, hmm, late to middle of the Great Depression. And the setting is really quite impressive and it gives you a good look as to how the islanders live, their, um, how they survive, how they make their money. Um, the whole idea of accepting what the narrator calls Beauty with the Beast, and they're actually talking about the volcanoes on the island. Most of them are dormant, but it's that constant reminder of disaster and destruction just looming at every turn. And of course, there's a secret that's involved with um, Koji. I do believe it's Koji, uh, but there are lots of characters that are very interesting. And Razor's another character that it's it's not his real name, I can't remember what his real name is, but it really reveals quite a bit, especially about um, the sugarcane industry and <laughs> how big sugar became addictive and the islanders are just, they can't get enough of it. It's the equivalent of, well, it should be called <laughs> heroin anyway, because it, it acts like it. Um, the book itself is really quite, um, just poetic and magnificently written, and I loved every moment in it, honestly, because I've been fascinated with Hawaii ever since I was little, and it's a place I've always wanted to go, and this is my closest <laughs> venture or um, method of taking a trip there. Someday I will, but the book is just a vicarious way of doing so. Um, thought that the description of the work on the cane farms was very accurate because of course sugar cane is Hawaii's biggest export other than I think spam and pineapple. I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, spam is cheap, and um, if you don't have an actual hog to put on a spit for a luau, spam is a great substitute. So, it's very short, sad to say, but um, I just, I like Sukiyama's writing style and she's very attentive to detail and um she writes in different points of view throughout the book which is very intriguing and very telling and give us gives us quite a lot of background on these different characters and this um secret that's been circulating in the family with um the return of one of the characters and um i picked it up because the title the color of air was what really um drew me to and I thought hmm that is a different title and I thought what could this be about and of course I love the depression or well, the roaring 20s and depression are, are something that I feel very drawn to so it was almost like I was meant to read it um there's a lot of hope in the book believe it or not that it has a lot of moments in and of itself that are for all intents and purposes, real. Very real, very raw, um, unfiltered. But there's also just that, that feeling of, even though it seems like everything is against you or a character in the book is questioning himself, he, he comes to this realization and I'm not gonna say it's a plot point. I'm thinking it's Koji, if I'm not mistaken, but 
um, Koji realizes that what he had done, even though it was in self-defense, it was wrong. And I can't say what it was, but he feels extremely guilty for it. And of course he apologizes. And this is in the wake of um, the mother herself being in this state of dementia and thinking that he's actually his dad who left and was alcoholic and yeah, very dysfunctional family and very, very sad, but it's, it's just wonderful. So, that's all I have to say. Till next time, long prosper. Ciao, tutti.